For many U.S. soldiers, the real battle begins when they get back from war. The psychological traumas on the battlefield often follow them home, but there's a local program where people are being trained to deal with soldiers' post-traumatic stress. The last family picture I think that we have, this was the summer before he passed away. This year will mark the 10 year anniversary since Kristen Spence lost her husband, Darren. He was a family man. He was a Marine. He was a son. Sergeant Darren Spence returned from the Gulf War and soon showed troubling signs. He ultimately ended up being sick for 11 years and succumbed to pneumonia, which the service connected him for because he'd been diagnosed with severe respiratory distress and asthma that they attributed to being exposed to the um, the oil well fires over in the Gulf. When her husband died from pneumonia, suddenly Spence found herself a frustrated single mother of three little girls. His respiratory problems were treated, his psychiatric problems were treated because he was ultimately diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. His neurological problems were compartmentalized, but nobody looked at him as a whole person to try to get him healthy. Maybe instead of refusing him altogether, saying, come on in, we'll do an assessment. And that is why you'll find Spence back in the classroom, getting her master's in social work at USC's Orange County campus. And I wanted to do it because of my late husband. I want to do something to give back to, uh, to veterans and their families and just let them know that they're not alone. And Spence is not alone in her mission to help other veterans and their families. If the people don't have a means... You know, Meet Mike Metal, a former Navy technician who completed confidential counter-piracy operations and still struggles with post-traumatic stress disorder. I'm able to look back and say, okay, you know, like I was hypervigilant. I was always at the ready, always ready to fight. And it's like, you know, you, you're sitting there and you catch yourself going, why am I so tense right now? I'm safe. You know, I'm at Denny's. Born and raised in Long Beach, she's now hoping to continue serving by serving all the vets coming home from Iraq and Afghanistan, wars that have gone on a decade. Removing the stigma is going to be the biggest thing. As you know, right now, guys who are in the service, guys that I help, they're saying, you know, I, I really want help. I really feel like I need it. But they're afraid of it because that stigma exists. If you go ask for help, it's because there's something wrong with you. And if you look around this class, you'll find another man in a field traditionally filled with women. Paul Richardson was a Marine based at Pendleton and Miramar. Now the married father of two is working toward a post in the Air Force, counseling all branches of the service. Men have a harder time talking about mental health issues. You know, we're taught to be strong and tough and, you know, deal with it, suck it up, and no one else needs to hear your problems. We're here to say it's okay to talk about it, um, and we can help you get through it, and there's nothing less masculine about that. While both men acknowledge the military has made great strides in the mental health field, they praise the military concentration at USC, the only one of its kind across the country. In 2009, we uh, began this program uh, with a handful of students, and it has exploded since then. Dr. Leslie Wind is the director of the USC School of Social Work in Orange County. She says social work is commonly misperceived as only child and family welfare, but Wind says therapy and counseling as preventative steps are critical to what they do. The military concentration gives students the option to serve a special population, those who've served us. Thus as for Kristen Spence and her three girls, the program was a perfect fit for her and to honor her husband's memory. I think about him daily. I have reminders in my children. And ultimately, he's the reason that I'm, I'm back in school doing what I want to do.